Hello and welcome to First Baptist Crowley's Christmas Eve online event. Let's celebrate together. Um, ba -dum, ba -dum. Kicking off our time together was the Centennial High School Chamber Singers with Winter Wonderland. You know, as we celebrate the season of joy and hope, peace and love, our prayers go out to the thousands that have suffered this year due to COVID-19. We want to express our thanks and gratitude to those who have served on the front lines beyond their call of duty, which speaks to a deep compassion and commitment. We thank you. We gather today because of Jesus. We're going to hear songs of old and new and even one original piece. These next few songs are ones we all know, so let's all sing them together wherever you are. Let everyone know the joy that you have found.
You know, the overnight hours leading up to the birth of Jesus must have been difficult. After all those miles of travel and the difficulty of finding a place to rest and stay the night, left Mary exhausted. As they settled in and started having contractions, one can only imagine what they were thinking. On this holy night, scared and tired, Jesus was brought into the world. Like most new parents, they weren't sure of what to do or say or think. What's on your mind this season? Let these next few songs help you to reflect and consider the goodness of God. Oh, holy night, the stars are brightly shining. It is the night of the dear Savior's birth. Long lay the world in sin and error pining. 
till he appeared and the soul felt its worth. A thrill of hope, the weary world rejoices, for yonder breaks a new and glorious morn.
morning in Bethlehem Mother and child asleep Waking up with the Lamb And secrets she must keep This mother's just a girl Cradling God's own son Is it too much to comprehend? Why was she the chosen one? Morning in Bethlehem And a father burdened so Keeping all the vows he made But there's so much he can't know This man, a gentle soul Following God's own plan Hears things in whispered tones His friends just can't understand Daybreak in Bethlehem And the crowds begin to stir Mary looks beyond the stall With the people staring at her This mother, she's just a girl Feeling rather small Remembers what the angel said Is it true what she recalls? Daybreak in Bethlehem And the city begins to breathe Joseph wonders what He'll do, but he knows what he believes. This man, a gentle soul, searching at every turn. What will he bring to her, the girl holding God's own son? Evening falls in Bethlehem One star outshines the rest Its light reveals this family And the baby's holiness God's love in swaddling clothes A perfect plan begun Mary gently caring for the baby God's own son Morning in Bethlehem Mother and child asleep
did you know that your baby boy would one day walk on water? Mary, did you know that your baby boy would save our sons and daughters? Did you know that your baby boy has come to make you new? This child that you deliver will soon deliver you, Mary, did you know? Mary, did you know that your baby boy will give sight to the blind man? Mary, did you know that your baby boy would calm a storm with his hand. Did you know that your baby boy has walked where angels trod? When you kiss your little baby, you have kissed the face of God. Mary, did you know? Blind will see, the deaf will hear, the dead will rise again. The lame will leap, the dumb will speak, the praises to the land. Mary, did you know? That your baby boy is Lord of all creation. Mary, did you know that your baby boy one day rule the nations? Did you know that your baby boy was heaven's perfect lamb? And the sleeping child you're holding is the grave. I am.
525,600 minutes. How do you measure? Measure a year in daylights, in sunsets, in midnights, in cups of coffee, in inches or miles or laughter or strife. In 525,600 minutes, how do you measure a year in a life? How about love? That comes from a famous Broadway hit called Rent. And so we, we think about that and we think about how do you measure a year and how should we be measuring a year because you know what a year we have had, right? 2020, we are ready to put in our rear view. But tonight, on this particular night, as we gather together for this Christmas Eve time together, how do we measure the year? How do we measure even one day? How about this day to be exact? Now, depending on your age, you're going to count today really different. Because it feels different, doesn't it? To the child, this day is going to take four ever to get through because of the anticipation and the waiting and the hope and the excitement of what tomorrow is going to bring. To the adult, there may not be enough time in this day. You know, I wonder how that last year felt for Mary. I wonder how that last mile felt for Mary. <laughs> or maybe even these final hours as they are huddled up in a stable, preparing for the birth of their first child. In Galatians chapter 4 and verse 4, it says that when the time came to completion, God sent his son, born of a woman, born under the law, to redeem those under the law so that we might receive adoption as sons. When just the right time, had come. God sent his son to be born. D did you know that? Just at the right time. You know, I wonder what else had to be completed to help create the right time. I mean, was it the birth and, and, and growth of Mary into a woman? Was it the time when Joseph was uh, betrothed to Mary? Was it Zechariah and Elizabeth, was it what was the right time? Historically speaking, the time probably was most clear that a Savior was needed. That in that moment in history, maybe above all others, it was the right time for the world to receive a Savior. Maybe it was the state of the world at that time. So much of the world was unified under one government. The Romans ruled most of the world as they understood it, most of the world as we would have understood it coming from our historical sessions and setting. It was ruled under Roman power. It was paved under Roman might. The money was all Roman cur currency. The military was all Roman. The language was even unified. In fact, the Roman culture was very tolerant. Yes, they had all of their other gods and the pantheon of, of the Roman myth mythological gods. And yet they were very tolerant. Letting all the different areas believe what they wanted to believe. So it was ripe. And right. Right. For Jesus to come at this time. That's why the Bible says, at just the right time, God sent his son. I wonder what time it is for you. Is it the right time for you? Maybe amidst all of the stuff going on in our year, and what a crazy year it has been. So much has happened. And yet, We've still had birthdays and anniversaries and we've had births and deaths and we've had jobs to go to and maybe for some of you, you haven't had a job for a long time and it's been a very difficult season. The need is so great right now, just like it was at that time. The need for a Savior is great. 
And maybe, just maybe, right now is the right time in history for you to choose Jesus. Maybe your place where you sit right now is just the right place to choose Jesus today. At just the right time, God sent Jesus. Is this your right time to receive this gift from God? If you'd like to discuss this more, I'd love for you to send us a message or an email to media at fbccrowley.org and we'll visit with you soon. This day is the best day, as it is the right day for all of us. God bless and Merry Christmas, and have a wonderful New Year.